Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, based on climatology, past records over, you know, 60, 70, 80 years to have uh, patchy frost this time of year is not that unusual. So we have a frost advisory overnight tonight. It's a very short window of opportunities from roughly 3 o'clock in the morning until 7 a.m. for the air is shaded in light blue. Do expect temperatures in our northern suburbs just before sunrise to be getting down into the mid and upper 30s. So uh, obviously we're chilly right now and we're setting up for an even colder night overnight tonight. Doppler radar though looks better. The rain has moved offshore. So again, heading out this evening, it's dry. You see Hours. Actually, heavy downpours and thunderstorms continue to track off to the east and southeast. We'll see some gradual clearing uh, during the overnight. So last minute voting and heading out right now. At least it's not raining, though. Still holding on to mainly cloudy skies and raw conditions. Humidity is on the high side right now at 82 percent in Warwick and other places. Now temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s. We were a solid 15, even 20 degrees below average. It's already down to 37 in Smithfield and low 40s along the south shore. You can see some of the showers from today. Now moving offshore, that drier air working in from upstate New York and southeastern Canada. So that clearing line will sink off to the south. The spell some sunshine for tomorrow. And as a result, temps tomorrow afternoon should be a lot milder. The front responsible for some of the showers continues to sink off to the south. In the meantime, across the central plains and tornado alley uh, making national news. These storms are firing up right now. An outbreak of severe weather has just started with tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings. We'll keep you updated across the plain states. That activity obviously staying away. We have drier air that's working in, though. We're still on the chilly side of things. You can see this huge temperature contrast. Look how close summertime is in the mid-Atlantic today. Topped out at 85, but only 40s and 50s here in southern New England, though temperatures more respectable by around 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon as the sunshine gets to work. Futurecast starts off this evening at 11 o'clock. You see that gradual clearing overnight along with the chilly temperatures. This is 7 o'clock in the morning, waking up to some chill sunshine. Give it time by the afternoon hours. Temperatures a lot better heading up uh, close to 60, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. All of New England nice and clear with the clouds and the showers staying offshore. And then by tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, clear skies. Another very cool night as temperatures drop back down into the 30s. Future cast for this evening, looking at temperatures are, are about now near 40, 11 o'clock in the evening, mid and upper 30, so we'll call it cold. It's certainly a chilly start tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. starting off in the upper 30s, plenty of sunshine by 11 o'clock. We're at 50, and during the afternoon hours, a lot better. Upper 50s are briefly near 60 by 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Low humidity, blue skies, dry and comfortable. So if you earn a living working outdoors, certainly tomorrow afternoon a lot better. Seven-day future cast, really a nice streak of dry weather through the weekend. Thursday, pretty much a carbon copy of what's on tap for tomorrow. That is sunny skies, temperatures in the upper 50s to near 60. Ditto for Friday. Weekend looking okay. Seasonable temperatures, mild afternoons and cool nights. Next chance for any widespread rain coming in on Monday with a temperature in uh, the upper 50. So uh, drying out tonight, but the, perhaps the furnace kicking on overnight as many locations heading down into the 30s, but a rapid warm up recovering to 60 uh, tomorrow afternoon. You can download the Channel 12 weather app on your smartphones and on your tablets as well. Be patient. Another 12 to 15 hours. We're back on track. All right. Well, try.